I'm Jacob Joseph. Um, I am a chartered financial analyst. I spent around nine years in finance doing investment banking, consulting companies across uh, sectors, right from real estate, pharma, hospitality, and also doing fund management. Uh, after nine years in doing all those, I came across a scenario wherein analytics was appreciated by companies, not mostly overseas, and in India a little bit. I tried to, you know, gain more information on that and get and slowly, steadily developed a passion for analytics. The shift happened because of my interest in analytics and my passion for analytics. And being from finance background, it was not easy f uh, to take a shift. And after spending that uh, amount of years of experience, uh, getting a suitable position, which is meant for an experienced professional, was not that easy. Hence, so I took a break. I did courses with respect to uh, sets match, uh, coding, especially the IT side, since I'm not from an IT background. After taking up a lot of courses with respect to stats, maths, and coding, I took up the course, a couple of courses with Jigsaw Academy, that is data scientists with R and data scientists with SAS. And that's when, you know, I really appreciated the approach that one needs to take for analytics and brought all my learnings together and more. Then went on to do the uh, EPBA program with Jigsaw and for the past year, I uh, since a year, I have been working with uh, CleverTap as a data scientist. I moved away from finance because during uh, my fund management, uh, as a fund manager, I used to do a lot of qualitative and quantitative analysis. And I was more so, you know, um, inclined towards the quantitative side of things. And towards the end of my career as an investment banker, I came across companies which were using uh, more and more uh, analytics as a tool to grow their company. And I was really passionate about, you know, how uh, data was being used to get insights, more and more insights. And hence, you know, I took a shift from uh, investment banking because I wanted to be really, really closer to numbers. It was, it was not like in finance, I was not close to numbers, but analytics is much more than that. It is quite exciting to uh, be in analytics wherein you, know, you can solve many problems without needing a lot of domain expertise. So that's a little different compared to you know, uh, just doing finance. <laughs> I chose Jigsaw over competitors because of the approach that Jigsaw has taken towards uh, delivering analytics courses. The approach is not focused on a particular aspect of analytics. It starts from right from asking the right business question to prescriptive analytics and not just predictive. There was a time wherein you know I used to view analytics as just predictive modeling and that was about it. I, used, I mean that, that summed up what analytics was. But it was much more than that. And Jigsaw opened my eyes to that. I kept coming back to Jigsaw because I thought that, you know, um, I can learn something new. And something new which, is, uh, which will make an impact for my career and on my understanding and the knowledge level. So that's the reason why I came back and I have not been disappointed. How can one, you know, get an entry into the analytics space? Or if one is already working in the analytics space, how can one grow? The thing is, you have gained a lot of academic knowledge through courses like Jigsaw. Um, but then how do you break into that from the academics to the practical aspect? Earlier, there used to be extracurricular activities which you would put in your resume. Now the extracurricular activities has to be your GitHub profile, participation in online hackathons or competitions like a platform like Kaggle or Analytics Vidya. Also, you need to express yourself. See, because a data scientist has to express, communicate his results, maybe not to a non-technical audience. And also, he may have to implement certain models wherein he has to interact with the IT team, which may not be well-versed with the analytics language that you speak. So you need to be very clear on the communication side you need to blog, write articles. If you do two, three steps like these, I think uh, any recruiter would go into the projects that you have published or you have participated as online competition or talk to you more about the articles that you have written. You don't need to convince the employer about your suitability. The emphasis would be on what is the kind of skill that you have 
and how job ready you are, it's already been answered in the kind of projects that you have uh, done. So have two, three things, you know, it can, it doesn't matter, you know, even if you are an experienced professional, it will just help your cause.